One of the most common questions that I get asked about batteries that I sell on my web store is whether or not they have cold charging protection. Cold charging protection is a function of the battery management system that will prevent charging the battery in temperatures below freezing. More and more BMSs are claiming to have it these days, but do they really work? I've seen plenty of other videos out there from other YouTubers doing cold charging testing, but I wasn't satisfied with the way they perform their tests. So in this video series, I'm going to do the ultimate cold charging testing of various batteries, and I'm going to start with my own Jericho batteries. I brought over my chest freezer from home. I, I bought a new one for my garage and brought the old one over here so that I could do a test properly. What, this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, uh, I'm gonna start with the Jericho battery and I'm going to put it in here and turn it on and let it run overnight so that it gets nice and cold. And I'm going to use a USB data logger to uh, inside the, the, uh, the freezer to track the temperature. Um, so that, that will give us another data point. And then also we can connect to the Jericho battery with Bluetooth and we can tell what the internal temperature of the battery is through the BMS. So that will give us a more scientific basis to know that the internal temperature of the battery is well below freezing. And then we can take a charger and connect it to the battery and attempt to charge it and see what happens. Now with the Jericho battery, theoretically, if it's functioning properly, the internal heater should kick on and warm up the battery internally and we shouldn't have a problem. It shouldn't have to disconnect the charging process. Um, but with Miller Tex and some of the other batteries that, uh, that, that I'm going to be testing, it doesn't have a heater. So the, the protection should kick in and cut off the charge to the battery. But that's why we test and that's why I've got this testing set up. So what I'm going to do now to go ahead and get it um, cold is I'm going to uh, plug it in and like I said, let it run overnight and, and with the battery inside and then we'll come back tomorrow and get baseline temperatures and I can show you all that data and then we will uh, hook it up to a charger and see what happens. After turning on the freezer, I put the Jericho tester battery inside. Then I grabbed my USB temperature logger and set it to record and put it inside the freezer as well. This will confirm that the temperature of the freezer was well below freezing and back up the internal temperature that the BMS reports. Something came up the next day so I wasn't able to come back to the shop for two days. I connected to the battery via Bluetooth and checked the internal temperature. It read well below freezing at negative 20 Celsius or negative 4 Fahrenheit. Next, I pulled out the temperature logger to check its reading. The logger was so cold that the screen on the front wasn't working very well. But it confirmed the temperatures that the BMS was reporting of negative 20 Celsius. Finally, it's time to connect a charger and see what happens. In this test, I'm using a MillerTech 20 amp charger. I connected the alligator clips to the battery terminals and closed the freezer again with it still running. I wanted to make sure that the battery stayed cold during the testing so we could see the heater do its job. I plugged in the charger and you can see the red light come on that means the charger has power and is operating. But the Bluetooth app shows that the battery is still in standby and not accepting a charge. So I grabbed my clamp meter to measure the current coming out of the charger. The meter reads that the charger is putting out a little over 6 amps and the battery is still standing by. So that means that the internal heater is drawing power successfully from the charger and doing its job. So let's look at the temperature and watch it climb. So after the internal heater ran for about an hour, the BMS allowed the charger to start charging. 
you could see the clamp meter change from 6 amps to 20 amps at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and the Bluetooth status showed charging instead of standby. I checked the temperatures inside the freezer to show you that the freezer was still on and the outer case of the battery was still ice cold, but it's only the internal temperature that matters. Here you can see the data from the temperature logger. The freezer was well below zero for over two days, and we can say 100% without a doubt that the internal temperature of the battery was well below the cold charging protection threshold. And we were able to watch the battery warm itself up slowly to a healthy margin above freezing, and then the heater turned off and the charger was able to start charging. So we passed both tests here. The internal heater works as it is supposed to, and the cold charging protection of the BMS works great as well. I know I'm biased, but I really like these Jericho batteries, and I think they're a steal at $850. They're superior to almost every lithium battery on the market in terms of specifications and performance, and it has a built-in heater and Bluetooth that work really well. All for less than the retail price of a Battleborn or Relyon battery. Add in another $50, and you can have the best warranty in the business, too. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on Jericho Battery Company and the 12 volt 100 amp hour battery you saw tested in this video, please go to www.jerichobatteries.com.